because of the sandy, infertile and sodic nature of the soil, the farmers need to actually fertilise and ameliorate their soil for those conditions. And what we're trying to do as part of this project is develop digital soil maps to help farmers actually apply the Six Easy Steps Nutrient Management Guidelines to manage those soil conditions that I mentioned before. To do that, we use proximal sensing soil instruments. Okay, here you're looking at the, all the energy emitted from the soil, all the spectrum from different materials. And this instrument uh, specifically detects uranium, thorium and potassium, and also total counts. Knowing that it helps us to colorate this uh, variation to the soil proper, actual soil properties, such as uh, EC, pH, clay content, also moisture content. Okay, by analyzing this, this data from like gamma ray spectrometer and also the Julian 421, we can make the map of uh, uh, management zones and uh, for using these maps, farmers can uh, apply a variable rate of uh, fertilizers instead of one rate. So today we're here at uh, the Lanacost extension and we're collecting the digital data today. We've collected some uh, gamma ray spectrometry data and uh, that's some digital data which gives us an idea of uh, how variable um, soil, soil topsoil is. It gives you lots of uh, data but still you need some soil data to validate and calibrate this data and yeah, gives an, uh, that's why the resolution of these maps are much more uh, higher than the resolution of the uh, conventional maps. Because if we can actually have confidence in these traditional soil maps, then farmers beyond the fields that we're working on can actually use those maps as well. So that's another reason why we're doing this work. Ear yeah, mapping is um, fairly new to a lot of the sugar industry, particularly uh, the Herbert North. I think uh, Mackay area and the Burdekin have uh, done ear yeah, mapping over the years, but it's uh, certainly new to the Herbert. It's very important, particularly in the southern area of Ingham, um, that have no um, detailed soil maps. And so for those growers down there in particular, they can get a, uh, an easy map of their soils, which shows the variation in soil properties. Well, some of the growers down there, in conjunction with some soil tests, have taken the next leap in farming systems and have gone to variable rate lime and gypsum to remediate some of the problems within those sodic blocks in particular. The reason we're making these digital soil maps is to actually enable the farmers to have confidence and some statistical rigour in the, in the, in the maps. Uh, and um, once you have that confidence, you can then apply your fertilisers according to the six easy steps because you have the soil information that you need to then um, apply the fertilisers to the, the soil conditions. Mm -hmm.